A pleasant STEM learners, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So this will be the last video lesson for our subject, statistics and probability. And for today's discussion, we will talk about the regression line. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to compute the slope and y-intercept of a regression line, write the equation of the regression line, which represents the given by variate theta, and solve problems involving regression analysis. So let's now start. So let's construct the scatter plot of the given by variate data. Do you still remember this one in our previous lesson? We have child one, child two, child three, child four, five, and six with their respective ages and weight. And this is how we draw the trend line in the scatter plot. And we have defined its correlation analysis. It is very high positive correlation. So the trend line can be graphed accurately using the regression line equation. So how do we predict the regression line? So the, the regression line equation is y is equal to bx plus a. Remember that the regression line equation follows the slope intercept form of a line y is equal to mx plus b. So meaning our M is your B and your A, which is the um, intercept, okay, is B here. So it's kind of mixed up. Okay, so look at the slope intercept form. It's Y is equal to MX plus B. Um, our standard form is AX plus B, Y is equal to C. But, and the point slope form Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to M times the quantity X minus X sub 1. But among the three, this is how the trend line, the equation of the trend line or the regression line looks like. But this becomes B and then the y-intercept is A. So don't get mixed up. So let us identify the independent and the dependent variables given this situation. IQ and grades. So our um, independent is IQ and the grades is dependent to IQ. Number two, the number of appliances and electricity bill. So the correct answer is the number of appliances is our independent and our dependent of course is electricity bill. Number three, so the demand is our independent, while the price of goods is the dependent variable. And lastly, number four, temperature and ice cream sales. Correct. Temperature is our independent, X, and ice cream sales is our Y value. So, Regression line equation is actually a prediction equation. Always remember that B, okay, is our slope and A is our y-intercept. And there are ways in solving for A. So to get the y-intercept A, that is the summation of y times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x times the summation of xy over n, the summation of x squared minus the summation of uh, the square of the summation of x, okay? And for the slope, it is n, the summation of xy minus the summation of x times the summation of y all over n, the summation of x squared minus the square of the summation of X. N is our number of pairs, okay? And X and Y are our independent and the dependent variable. So let's have practical example. Going back to the table that shows the age and the weight of our six children, obviously our N is 
six. So let's predict the weight of a 19-year-old child. And of course, we will also solve for A and B, okay, in which uh, we form this A and B. Okay, we solve for this one so that we could form the regression equation. So step number one is to make a table. So just like how we do it in correlation, so you get on the third column, x squared, and then you also get the summation of h. This will be the summation of x. This is the summation of y, the summation of x squared, the summation of y squared, and the summation of x times y. After doing the table, then you can solve for a and b. So to solve for a, the summation of y is 256. The summation of x squared is 1111 minus the summation of x is 81. Okay, the summation of the product xy is 3,498 times 6, which is the number of children, times 1111 minus the square of the summation of x, which is 81 squared. So using your scientific calculators, the answer will be this one. Simplifying the answer, our A is 10.8. 27. We get for B, we follow the formula 6 times 3498 minus 81 times 256 all over 6 times 1111 minus 81 squared. So our B is 252 over 105. And B in simplified form is 2.4. Step number three, we write now the regression line equation, which is y is equal to bx plus a. So that would be y is equal to 2.4x plus 10.27. And using Desmos, this is how the regression line would look like with this equation. And to answer question B, what is the weight of a 19-year-old child? So if x is 19, we will use the regression. Um, line that predicts the value. So when the age of a person is 19 years old, the predicted weight will be 57.87 kilograms. So thus, this is the conclusion. Do not forget to put the conclusion on your answers on your, the modified assessment. The predicted weight of a 19-year-old child is 55.87 kilograms. Let's have another example. The table on the right shows the playing time of different students and their corresponding grade. So for letter A, we write the regression line equation, which represents the given data. And letter B, we estimate the grade of a student who play video games for nine hours per week. Because from the given, I think um, the longest is Kanor with eight hours of playing, and his grade is. 77. So we wanted to predict what will be the um, grade of a student if, if he or she plays for nine hours. But before we compute for letter B, we have to solve first for the regression line equation. Following step number one, so we have x squared. So you square everything in this one, six times six, four times four, 2 times 2, and so on. To get y squared, you have to square 85, 83, and so on. And to get the fifth column, you have to multiply 5 times x, and 5 times 85, 6 times 83, to get the entries on this column. And of course, you also have to get the total of h. So this is the summation of x, which is 40. Summation of y, 679. The summation of x squared, 228. The summation of y squared, 57,000, I mean, um, 789, and 3,330. Step number two, 
we have to solve for A and B using the formula. So we have 679, which is the summation of Y, summation of X squared is 288, minus 40, the summation of X, and then the summation of the product of X and Y is 3,330 times N, because there are eight students there, times 288 minus 40 squared, okay? Follow the operation. So this will be the answer, 21,612 over 224. So our value of A is in two decimal places is 96.48. And to solve for B, we have the slope um, 8 times 3,330 minus 40 times 679 all over 8 times 228 minus 40 squared. So notice that the value of B became negative. It's possible to have a negative slope, meaning it is negatively correlated. Okay, so the trend line will look like this because the slope leans to the left. So our B is negative 2.33. So observe the trend line. As I told you, it will lean to the right. Okay, because our slope is negative 2.32. So therefore, substituting the values for the regression, regression line equation, we have y is equal to bx plus a, y is equal to negative 2.33x plus 96.48. Simply substitute those values. So if you are playing nine hours in video game using the regression line equation, then y is equal to negative 2.32 times 9. So you have to substitute for the value of x because that's 9 hours plus 96.48. So therefore, the grade will be 75.6. So you see, the more that you play video games, the more that you could have this lower grade. So thus, do not forget the conclusion because this is very important in your solution the estimated grade of a student who plays video games for nine hours per week is 75.6. So this is now the end of my whole discussion for statistics and probability. This is Sir Peter now signing off.